Hey there guys, Zach here from WinBeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 9926. Now this build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public build which was 9879. This build includes a new user interface, a bunch of new beta apps and pretty much everything. Everything is new in this build, you might as well just throw everything away, this is a new version of Windows. Uh, so let's get started. This is, uh, isn't the most stable build, but then again it's not supposed to be. It may be aimed at consumers, but it is still a technical preview. So there's a new user interface which I mentioned a minute ago. Here is what it looks like. There's a new start menu, there is a new notification center, there is a new title user interface, a title bar user interface, and that works across one UI apps as well as you can see here. Everything is becoming a lot more streamlined, which is very nice. Icons are also updated, which you may have seen there. Uh, new uh, folder icons, new this PC icon, although the horrible uh, Windows 7-esque hard drive icons are still present. And um, yes, the recycling bin is still from Windows Vista. Shame. But let's move on from that, let's pretend that doesn't exist, and let's take a look at Cortana running on the PC. I wrote about this a while back, and I demoed her in her early form, but now she has, now she looks good, now she's actually dressed up to go out partying. What's the weather like in New York City? Right now, it's 37 and sunny in New York. So that is the uh, weather in New York City, which is very nice. Uh, she is eventually, I don't know if she does it, does it now, but she's supposed to hook up to Windows Phone and sync your Cortana settings across devices, which will be very nice. So your reminders, your notebook, although I believe my notebook, yeah, so my notebook is synced. So whatever is on my phone right now is also in my notebook, which is very nice. If we open up the start menu, the start menu is new. It now acts bo both as the start menu and the start screen. Let's keep it as the menu right now though because this is a desktop. Uh, the new start menu is, is, isn't is the most stable of start menus. It does crash every now and then and um, isn't very... It still needs work, put it that way. But it does it does what it's supposed to do. It, on the right it has the tiles and on the left it has your recent applications list much like on Windows 7. If we open up a bunch of different apps from the um, start menu as you can see, the start menu sort of fades away. I probably shouldn't have opened that. And um, animations are just a lot more smoother and nice, which is great. Now, there are a bunch of new beta apps in this build, such as the store app. The store app includes an entire new user interface, which is aimed solely at desktop users. It looks good, it works, and it's awesome. It, I say it's aimed at desktop users, it works great on touch as well. So if we come into here, as you can see, here is the app page, and if I click on install, the app will start to download. Uh, you can see your feedback, images of the uh, app, and so on and so forth. And once the app is downloaded, it will obviously be installed to your start menu. Now, moving on, we should take a look at the other apps. There is a new alarms app, that's something that's quite quickly, a new calculator app, a new camera app which is also known as Lumia Camera found on Windows Phone, contact support, getting started, maps, music, no, I lied about music, let's pretend that didn't happen, press allow, photos, there is a new photos app, and an updated uh, Windows feedback app as well. Let's close it up. Now they're also all universal apps, meaning when the Windows Phone uh, technical review launches, it will run the same apps here as you as I had opened will run on the phone as well, which is very nice. Now let's take a look at the notification center. The notification center has been updated. As you can see, the notifications at the top and down at the bottom, you get a bunch of quick access um, tasks, which are also which is the same as what's on Windows Phone today. And here's a button called Tablet Mode. Now, if you run Windows 10 on a tablet, you're mo most likely going to be want to using this mode. Clicking on it will make uh, everything full screen by default and the desktop sort of non-existent so if we go to the start menu it's automatically full screen and I can't actually back out from the full screen mode opening an app will like I said open in full screen and the taskbar does stay persistent at the bottom if I right click and take a look at these settings let's see if we can auto hide the taskbar I believe you can okay so for those wondering whether you want you whether you can do that as you can see there you can do that indeed which is going to excite a lot of tablet-esque users. Let's open another app and see how it works. I should not have opened that app again. 
And, oh, okay, it's not going away now, so, or is it? It is going away, okay. So it does go away, so it's a bit buggy, but it does actually go away if you want it to with auto hide, which is very nice. Let's turn that off, though, because that's not actually what we want, is it? So if you go if you go up to the top of an app, you can see here you get your ti your title bar, and that works as well if you swipe down slightly from the top uh, on a touch device, and you can press X. Or if you want to do it like it does on Windows 8, and just pull the app straight to the bottom of the screen to close it, you can also do that too. So yeah, that is tablet mode pretty much. If we open the settings app, we can see here a new user interface for for settings, which has a bunch of different options and features. Tablet mode is also in there as well tablet mode which is now on let's turn that off and everything goes back to windowed mode got accounts we've got a new area to personalize windows however it just only seems to be for the lock screen right now i believe there will be more desktop personalization in here later in future builds now there's a few things in this uh actually before i actually say what i was about to say there is one more app which i haven't demoed and that's the xbox app which is probably probably one of the uh biggest and newest apps available in this build this app will eventually allow you to stream Xbox One games to the PC or cross-play between PC and Xbox One. It will also allow you, allow you to record game clips from any PC game ever straight to Xbox Live, which is also fairly nice. Sadly, I can't demo that to you because I don't actually have any games installed right now, but you get the point. So on the left here, you get all your friends. If we click on one, you can see their gamer score, their friends, their reputation. You can invite them to a party, mute and chat, remove friend or block. You can see their achievements, who they're following, and their game clips. If we go to my account, let's see if we can do that. Can we do that? I don't believe we can. It seems to be crashing as well. Like I said, this build isn't the most stable, so uh, do be uh, do keep that in mind. Let's click on my account so we can see my game clips. There's a game clip of uh, game clip of mine. If we click it, credit card still should play. Boosting gas tankers on me. Come on, man. What you trying to be some fuck? So you get the idea there. You can also choose a color, which is apparently coming soon, and customize avatar again coming soon, and set gamer pick surprisingly coming soon. So there you have it. That's the Xbox app in a nutshell, pretty much. And yes. Now, things like the new Spartan browser aren't available in this build. They will be coming later in future builds for Windows Insiders. Reason is, is because, well, the Spartan browser isn't exactly ready yet. When it is, it should be pushed out for Windows Insiders in a new build, and that should be groovy. So there you have it, guys. That's a first quick look at Windows 10 build 9926. Thanks so much for watching, and I shall see you in the next one. Bye-bye.